try to get into Fractal right now, you could talk to Justin Khan. Holy sh**. The founder of Twitch. What? Dahlia said Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire. Dahlia, you There are no crazy. shot, bro. No shot. This, yo, Andrew Garfield is last. Yes. Toby Maguire first, then Tom. No, 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 no. I think nah, Tom nah, Holland nah. is first, bro. No, 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 no. Impossible, dude. Impossible. Dude, Toby Maguire cannot pass as a fucking high schooler. Yes, he can. Look at him. No, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Toby Maguire Spider Man. He looks young during that movie. Like, dude, I'm no, he now. didn't look like a. Yo, dude. Look, he looks like a kid. It's just he was taller than Tom Holland. That's why. Yeah, actually, that's probably yeah. it. Actually, yeah. Like he, he's tall. I still like. I I actually really like Tom Holland because of his interaction with like, like the other Avengers. Yeah, that's why. Dalia, no shot, dude. Tobey Maguire Spider Man's were the best. How can you say it's unwatchable? They were the best. Tom Holland Spider Man's were like the new adaptation, like family friendly shitter type movies a chat this is justin khan's new company new startup right the founder of twitch he made a new company startup called fractal and it's a marketplace for gaming nfts and apparently they have a stage right now so actually let's go in and check this out especially like uh i actually i'm actually like here? a game developer before uni, uh, let me ask them yo uh, yeah i moved to australia for uni Tom yeah. Holland. Yeah, I, 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 I like to go to Hong Toby Kong like Maguire. Every, uh, every two years. Okay, let's see what they say. Yeah, not recently though. But yeah. Come on. Jason, you gotta host us while we're there. This is the Fractal fam. <laughs> I just got the yeah. okay. Hell yeah. Bro, should I go chat? Should I go on stage? I'm scared, man. Oh, we got a first 1000 here, DV. Who said oh. Tom Holland? Oh, uh, hello? Who hello? said Oh, okay. Philip is on stage, dude. Amazing. <laughs> dude, Don't ask him about That's Tom Holland and Tobey Maguire. What about, what about you, Philip Palm? Was it, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, uh, I'm from Montreal, Quebec. So yeah, um, yeah. I just had a question for you guys. I don't know if you watched the new Spider-Man movie, but oh, no, 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 I just want to know his preference. Like, do you prefer Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man or Tom Holland? You know. I, I mean, Tom Holland, no question. Tom oh, Holland. Okay, okay. What the fuck? Yeah, Tom Holland is way more. Toby Toby Maguire looks like a doofus. Tom Holland. But though, that's, his, like... that's his character, though. Like throughout the first. Movies, what? Was, you know, Wait, the first couple like, movies are the best ones. What are you guys talking about? I think Tommy, uh, yes, no, this I guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Justin, he's, he's Justin, no, Justin, no, you lost me there. Dude, I was gonna invest in your company. But yeah, I, I also want to mention, yo, thanks, guys. Fractal seems really cool. But yeah, I also want to mention, yo, thanks, guys. Fractal seems really cool. Phillip, shout out, Frank. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited for the future of it. And yeah, I actually joined the stream from, I forgot who, but he explained a lot about like. What Fractal's doing. Say with Frying Pan, what do you mean forget who? It's excited. me, Philip. The YouTuber Frying Pan. Say the welcome, YouTuber. Welcome to Fractal, dude. Say Not you found him uh, through the YouTuber. Fractal. We have any mis Oh, should we get another rotation? Thanks, guys. No! 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 Peace, boys. No! 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 I don't know if I'm qualified. What do you mean you don't know? You're doing good. I told you about Fractal. I told you about Fractal for one hour. You don't play my name. What the hell, dude? What the hell? We've got a heaps of 30k people here. Dahlia, this is what you want to watch, right? Log for shell. Killer logging library for Java. I think a vulnerability in there is bad. Go down. Bro, I don't even know what log for J log for shell is. Log for J is the big vulnerability. Okay, so it's basically uh, to log messages in your, in your application, right? And I guess the hack is that the hackers can see the logs of other companies. Is that the problem? What, what do you mean by it killed the internet? Why would it kill the internet? A super common Java text logger and when you input a certain string, you can get it to ping your own server. What? If you put a certain string, you can ping your own server and gain remote code execution. How is that even possible? With a string? Okay, it has been a bit surreal seeing okay. Log4j in the news. It's on news headlines. Even Time Magazine has an article, what is Log4j? Even when the Equifax hack happened, the news mainly covered the data breach Wait, and the stretch wasn't so much in the headlines. Classic Java library hitting mainstream? It feels so odd. It's like tomorrow if Miley Cyrus tweets, oh boy, I'm having so much fun deploying my Kubernetes clusters. <laughs> what? These two worlds are not supposed to meet. And Except that Log4j is so widespread that you don't even need to directly use Java. You can use a library and it has it.
Wait, what do you mean? So you can use log log four J is not only in Java; it's like other languages also use this. But I also share something a little more important. You see, these vulnerabilities. This guy knows. This guy looks like he knows his shit. This has actually got me thinking a little bit about open source in general, and I'm beginning to look at open source libraries a little bit differently. But let me explain. Let me explain. I'm listening. You probably already know what Log4j is. It's no. a very popular Java logging oh, yeah. library that you can use for logging stuff from your code. So you can log things to a file, like when something goes wrong, error messages, debug messages, and then you can look up log files later and troubleshoot, right? Typical stuff. There was a dark secret which was hidden under the surface. Ooh. A major security vulnerability that's now come into the open and we have a big issue on our hands. Any Java application that uses Log4j can be hacked. So this has actually resulted in... Oh, so they just have to update their, the Log4j? They just have to update their library? Enterprises racing to patch their Log4j versions and uh, deploy the newest version. And it's also resulted in hackers racing to exploit targets before it's said enterprises do a patch. So much fun. Now you might look at your app and go, well, hey, I don't use Log4j, so I'm good. But wait, not so fast, uh -oh. sir or madam. Log4j is such a popular library that even if you aren't Madame, using sir. it directly, you might be depending on another library which actually uses Log4j for logging. At this point, oh, considering right. how popular Log4j is, there is a good chance that any decently sized Java application running oh, out I there... I see. So your logging thing, even if it, it's not Log4j, it could, it could be a logger that uses Log4j underneath. So then you're still under compromise. There's a developer security company called uh, Snick or Snike, or however you pronounce it, that found that about 60 Snack. plus percent of Java applications that they scan actually uses Log4j indirectly and not depending on it directly. Most services like Cloudflare auto block the first string, but they're having three versions now to bypass it. Holy, dude, these hackers are, are working overtime, man. What are they hacking into? Like, what can they get from hacking into this shit? Like credit card information? Like, I don't get it. These people are, are just are crazy. And how do you hack something with a string? Is it like instantiation through reflection or some shit? Databases to sell on hack forms? Man, like people really, <laughs> really doing anything. Yeah, it's just, I, I'm trying to imagine what kind of people are doing this, right? Like, do, do, oh, I want to remote code execute some company's code to do what? Like to, I, okay, I guess Spy just said it, like database to sell on forms, but at that point, like, do you really need to do this shit? Like, can't you just solve a few lead codes and go work at Facebook or some shit? Like, this is too far, too far, man. Log4j allows hackers to inject Tom Holland into all your YouTube videos. Dude, if that happened, man, I would delete my channel. What is this Twitter? Can I get an F for CSGO Empire whose withdrawal just got cleaned because they take the BTC pricing from coin market crap? Uh, cap who values one BTC 10 million people deposit BTC get too many coins because Empire thinks Bitcoin is 10 million then they can clean the withdrawal oh oh wait was this caused by log4j like this whole thing like the the Bitcoin prices went insane oh my god holy shit I don't I don't get what it's trying to say here who's just drug clean because they take the BTC pricing okay so Basically, for CSGO, people deposit, deposited BTC and they thought that it was like more than they actually deposited because the value is like so inflated. So they got like a bunch of guns and shit, right? Jesus, now I see why. And yeah, we should get into a hacking. You're not just passing a value that this thing resolves, you're actually passing a string value, but this is not something that Java. Ooh, so he's passing in the Java object instead of a message, right? Like when you're hacking this, you're passing in this link, which goes to a Java object. Realizes. But isn't this like, you're just logging the error. Like you're not really executing any code here. Like even if this is some piece of code, it just goes into your logger, no? Like that's, that's it. Isn't that it?